Hi guys, so today we're having a look at a product from W7. Now, I did a little bit of a haul, went through their website and just ordered stuff. And when I saw that they had a peach cleansing balm, we know I had to try that out. So it's $5.95 and you get 70 grams of product. It is called Peach Clean, of course. And I haven't even smelled this yet, so you did. Okay, first impression, like the very first kind of like note, is a very nice peach scent. Then there is a slightly waxy scent underneath it. The first ingredient in this is mineral oil, which I know some people are kind of against. Uh, I'm not going to get into the debate on it. I don't have an issue with it, especially in cleansing balm that you're going to rinse off. So, but yeah, I think that might be kind of scent underneath this. Anyway, so the instructions on the um, on the container and on the website are apply onto dry skin and gently massage, add a splash of water to emulsify and rinse thoroughly, avoid contact with the eyes. Now on the website there was a review that said a very little goes a long way. So we are going to go to the bathroom and try this out and see what it does. Now I've got quite a lot of eye makeup on today. We've got liner, we've got mascara, we've got black eyeshadow. Um, so yeah, we will we'll see how this goes. Right, so we're in my bathroom. The lighting is not great and I apologise. The light above my mirror is actually out. I can't find the bulb for it. And I've got my phone torch on, which means I get shadow puppet effect, sadly. So Flynn is also in here because I thought once I'd wash my face, I would let you guys see how he's doing because he's huge now. Anyway, so somebody said a small amount of this goes a long way. So I'm just going to get some on my finger. Melt it in. I feel like I've kind of took that a bit too far with a small amount. That's a very small amount I've went for. But we'll see. I mean, it is spreading everywhere. Ooh, okay. That, <laughs> that broke down my eye makeup in no time. Do, do, do. I was a scary at this point. This is the point where I don't like being on camera doing makeup removing um, reviews. So I'm just going to try to tickle my lashes a bit there, make sure I get the mascara off. I do have two layers of mascara on pretty much every day. So now we have this gorgeous look going on. So let's get a bit of water in and see if it does you know, emulsify. The stuff in my hands looks like it has. Okay, yeah that's Definitely emulsifying. I'm turning the temperature down in that water a little bit. So normally when I use a cleansing balm, I would go in with a cloth. Um, but I'm just trying this with my hands because it's sad too. I might however give up and take a cloth. It is quite thick feeling. Flynn's of course standing right behind me because it is super easy. Um, I swear to god this is just out of the washing machine but I wear so much dark makeup it's stained. Yeah, see it's definitely broke down the makeup but it's a very very thick formula. Um, so I definitely feel like I would need a cloth to get this off unless I was prepared to spend ages sitting rinse in my face, which I'm not. Just add another wee rinse. So, I'm going to dry my face. Oops, we mascara as much. I'm just going to grab a bit of tissue actually, because that's, oh, that's quite a big mascara smudge actually. Let's see how much 
mascara we've left on here. Quite a bit. I mean, I guess considering I had two layers on plus black eyeshadow, that's not the worst amount to come off. And I would normally go in with like a normal cleanse and like rinse my face after this anyway. To usually take care of kind of that. There was a little bit more on that eye. So I probably could have used a little bit more product, I think, but it definitely broke everything down nicely. My eyelashes don't feel you know that way when you don't take your mascara off properly and they feel crusty? They don't feel like that. The rest of the skin feels really smooth and nice. So, I can't really smell it, I didn't really smell it much while I was using it, but it's definitely an effective um, makeup remover. Personally, because I have oily skin, I wouldn't use this as my main cleanser because of the mineral oil. Um, I need something a bit lighter than that, but this is definitely going quite firmly on my bathroom shelf for further makeup removals. If you've got any questions, please leave them down below, and I promise you a... Oh, yeah, I'm wearing loads of beady bracelets just to make my shadow even weirder looking. Jeez, oh, do you want a Flynn update? Because he's huge. Hey, are you with me? Do you remember when he was tiny? Do you remember when he was a baby? And he could come up on my lap during videos. He's not doing that anymore. So just in case Andy was wondering why he hasn't been joining me in videos anymore. This is why Flynn has turned out to be the least mini mini schnauzer um, and he's still gorgeous, he's still the best boy but he's not exactly the right size to like wake up on my lap while I'm filming so yeah but he's just as cuddly as he was. It's all good. So we will see you guys in the next one and we hope you have a good week. Oh.